Uh, this is Retro Rocket uh, number uh, 109, and uh, I'm, I talked last one. I talked about uh, you know somebody who didn't believe in space travel, and uh, since I love space travel, and I want to think how can I force people past this delusion of theirs that there's no such thing as space travel, because I want all humans to be smart. I do. I'd like to be much smarter than what I am. And we all have different perceptions of reality, uh, myself included. And I'm sure I'm wrong about my worldview in a lot of ways because we're human. We're, we're not perfect. So um, uh, this all started, of course, like the last uh, Retro Rocket was, um, you know, somebody insulted it was two videos, somebody who was Michael Clark, who does Epic Feature Space. And uh, I kind of like engaged this person like, um, who says all space travel and all people who like space travel are idiots. You know, it's all a big conspiracy. So perception, you know, like you're looking at this image and uh, this image is in reverse. So this hat, all lettering's in reverse. This is my hat for uh, when I shoot a retro rocket and I have a bad hair day. Uh, when I flip the image, I don't, I don't flip the image. I'm doing this off a of photo booth program, and they have a reverse image. So perception is everything. So I don't know how this guy who goes by. The learn of the Jesuit came to his conclusions. I he also said he didn't believe in atomic weapons; they were all fake too. So it's going deeper. I don't know if this is a hoax. He just he's like a troll and likes to get everybody upset. I don't know what I call a contrary. What they want to they want to be against the world and everybody else is an idiot and the billions of people in the world are an idiot and they're the only ones that can see the real reality. But the learn of the Jesuit. Here's what you do. There's uh, somewhere on Google or Bing, whichever one you use. There is a uh, um, I'm, you can look up if you a little research. You can look up and see when uh, the International Space Station will be passing overhead, and you're part of the sky. And you can get a small telescope and, and hook up a camera to it. And I don't know. If I haven't figured out the track. I'm going to try to do this. So next time somebody says there's no space travel, I say, oh, no, no, I've, I've done something to prove it. Take a picture of the International Space Station. It was a small telescope. Uh, Ralph Vandenberg did it on December 27, 2008. I think everybody who has a telescope, you probably don't have a telescope because you don't <laughs> really like science as far as I can tell. But you can prove to yourself the International Space Station is real by doing this. And uh, if you don't go to that limits, then you just want to be delusional and there's nothing anybody can do to help you. But that would be like the first step realizing your worldview isn't right. So uh, good luck with that. And I was real quick, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, space sports. So I've been trying to come up with a space sport that you can play on Earth on Mars, anywhere, you can play it on different gravities or in microgravity. And it involves a series of uh, uh, kind of like a, a stadium that's a wind tunnel with very ducted fans and alternating with trampolines or netting uh, to propel players. And I don't want to get into like solving the problem if they hit each other how they wouldn't not kill each other because it would be much faster than uh, um, soccer or basketball or hockey. It would be an extremely fast sport, um, but basically you would mimic micro G by using ducted fans and a wind tunnel like uh, stadium or arena and alternating was netting and, and or uh, trampolines to propel our players and you could do something like soccer or 
Or you could even do Quidditch from, I guess it's Quidditch from uh, Harry Potter. So, you know, I Micro G Sports that you could play on Earth was the same. I, all, all the stuff I'm developing for this, it's kind of like a mind experiment, would use existing technology. Nothing, no exotic, anti-gravity or anything. It's all existing technology. So I'm going to have more of that as these go along. Um, the Learn of the Jesuit, it's just a small telescope. Take a picture of that International Space Station. See when it's coming by you in the night sky. You can prove to yourself there's really space travel. And don't stop insulting people because they don't agree with your loony. I'm sorry, it's a loony. You, 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 got, you need some help. Get some help. Get Talk to a psychiatrist. You've got really paranoid delusion. I believe in a lot of really far out things myself, you know. But uh, you don't have anything to back yours up other than your own lack of scientific knowledge and your own paranoid delusion. So get some help and uh, don't pick on Michael Clark. He's a nice guy. He's uh, enthused about space travel and you don't have to hate on somebody just because they don't agree with you. Later.